Hi there, in this video I'm going to talk about multiple sources of income. So if you're new to this channel, you've just started watching, then you're probably wondering why I'm doing videos about Amazon Merck and Uber Eats and eBay, eventually more eBay and eventually Amazon FBA, KDP, Kindle Publishing. The reason for this is because I believe that it is important to explore multiple sources of income. Now, if you're just starting up and you're looking to earn a living outside of a regular job and escape your 9 to 5, then it is important to try and explore more than one form of income. So these are the ways that I personally think works for me. Now, I've been doing eBay and Amazon for quite a long time but it's been very very part time reason being for this is because I've always worked a full time job um, and I finally got the courage to give it up and really just try and get this working for me my full time job I was doing anywhere between 8 to 12 hours 5 days a week um, I was doing call out which was once a month, that was 24 hours basically, so I was on call, on standby. You've been doing your full 8 to 12 hours day shift, after that I was on call out, so two young kids missed out quite a bit of their life, childhood unfortunately, due to having to work to basically provide. But I've always had an act to want to, obviously, like, just start making it on my own and I believe that anybody watching this channel is in the same predicament. So I believe it's important to explore multiple sources of income. Online you've got eBay. With eBay there's many ways to, to start off. The For me personally the best way is to resell used goods. So second hand shops, charity shops, thrift stores, learn how to do it, learn, you'll get an eye for profit, once you start picking stuff up, check the sold listings on eBay and you'll realise you can actually start making profit from things that you wouldn't expect. Amazon, FBA is probably to start off with is used books, again charity shops are amazing or thrift stores if you're watching from the states. But used books really tend to, to do very well on Amazon, particularly textbooks. Textbooks go for a high price. You can pick them up in a charity shop for a pound, two pound, or dollar, etc. And they can go for a hundred pounds very, very easily because students are always looking to get textbooks. And to buy them now, they're actually really, really dear. So that students do buy them second hand off or beyond off from Amazon. Now, there's two different forms of income. There's an active income and then there's a passive income. Active income is going to be your eBay, um, Amazon Merck Fulfilled. FBA is semi-passive. If you're going to do Amazon Merck, which obviously I suggest anyone should do, this is a extremely passive income. It doesn't require a lot of skill. I'm just starting out, so I'm still getting there. I'll do a video on that soon. There's KDP, so if you're if you're good at writing, then you can become an established author on Amazon KDP. Um, and of course, there's YouTube, which eventually I'd like to think that this would be another source of income for myself. Um, so please subscribe, guys. Thank you. But. I'm doing Uber, that's more for the flexibility. Uber again is a great source of income. On a bike it's it's okay, you can generate a decent income on a bike and a car, you can earn a full time living. Um, on the side of Uber, I would suggest doing Amazon Flex if you're a driver. I would suggest Amazon Flex, it's, it's a great, great program for anybody. Um, also, you don't have to pay insurance. Amazon pays insurance for Uber Eats if you're a driver or you're just wanting to become a driver. Now, I've actually had this before. A few people asking about this. The insurance for Uber Eats would be Zego 
in the UK that would be the best one to use is Ego. You don't have that problem on a bike. And if you're just on a bike, you can also do Deliveroo alongside Uber Eats. Again, this is for the UK. I believe in the, the States they have things like Caviar, uh, etc. DoorDash. Um, they've got loads of different ones. But basically, if you if you want to leave a 9 to 5, you're going to have to explore these options. I would not suggest that you leave it unless you're 100% certain that you can make it work. Maybe even just work a part-time job if if you're not 100 percent so that's pretty much all i want to cover if just in case people are wondering why i'm doing these different kind of topics on my on my channel this is the reason why is because it is important for me to explore every option and try and make money every way possible using multiple sources of income active and passive cheers guys